Let's see, you're committed now. We've been trying to get this girl to do a burnout for a while. And man, it just kept loading up. We weren't sure what's going on. We think we have it figured out. So this 67 C10, it runs perfect. Up and down the road, but man, when you get on it real hard, it just acts like it's stumbling, but it doesn't act like it's running out of gas. In this truck, we have a Walbro uh, fuel pump. And a lot of guys say that it produces too much fuel pressure. So this, hopefully, is our cure. So this is an adjustable fuel pressure gauge, and uh, we can adjust this down to whatever we want. And this truck needs to be running at about uh, 42 to 45 PSI. And right now, it's not. Let me show you what it's running at. Seventy pounds. We got to make that about forty-five. It's running at seventy. So what it's doing is, we think it's loading up, burning rich, which makes it stumble when we try to goose it. So we're going to change this out a fuel pressure regulator and uh, see if we can make this thing work. Let me show you what's going on underneath here. Sorry, I dropped you on your head. So we haven't actually had too many of these issues. Um, we've had pretty good luck with the fuel setups that we do normally. Um, this is just kind of a fluke. Let me show you what's going on. So you get your feed here. Here's the pump. Here's the feed line, right? So on these fuel filters, the feed's right here, the return's here, and then this is the feed for the engine. So, because we actually have an inline fuel filter in already prior to the pump, we're not going to worry about another fuel filter. We mainly use these because they're regulated. So we need to take all these, all three of these lines off and reconfigure the fuel system a little bit for the fuel regulator, which is going to reside right there. Just for fun, let me show you a little Tommy trick. You see those nice little bracelets he has on? <laughs> He wraps those around to where, you know, if you've done this before, you know that that gas down your backside into your armpit, not super happy. Anyway, that stops it from happening, absorbs some, and if instead of dripping down his arm, it'll drip down on the ground, so. And of course, you like really nice and tight and tidy fuel systems, and then you have to retrofit something and not so happy. Well, whatever idiot welded these exhausts in here. <laughs> Sure did a nice job. Actually, it doesn't look it bad, did, does it? It came out good. Turned out real nice. It's just on the ground, yes. only a, barely enough to go through here, but that's all right. Okay, so we got gas. This guy here. Oh, make sure you disconnect the battery, by the way. <laughs> we already did that, but if you're doing it at home. For those of you doing this at home, don't. <laughs> there we go. There's our gasoline puking out all over us. That's what we love. I oh. see you're committed now. Found that cut on my thumb. I knew it was there the whole time. I was hoping the skewer was going to simmer down by now. You want me to grab something? Yeah. So here's our new regulator. This is fuel out to the motor. This is fuel in from the pump. This is a return. Let's set this back in the truck. I'm going to hook the engine side up first. I need to cut this to length and cut this also to length. Well, it's all reconfigured and it's in and ready to go. Fuel pressure regular right there. We'll mount it once we get it adjusted. Obviously, here's your feed return and then the engine side there so we are to the point where we have the new pressure regulator in we're gonna see what this girl does right here we're just gonna key it up we're not gonna start it go ahead Tommy all right that went to 10 pounds why don't you leave it keyed up like that get down there and try and you know move it one way or another and we'll see what it see what it does Wrong way. That's a 22. Yep. That's a 40 pounds. So give us a little more of a twist and let's try it. All right, that is 48 pounds. So 
drop it down just a little bit, and then we'll try and fire it. That's 45, that's about where it should be, so fire it up and let's see what it does. Grab it up a little. some power steering fluid all right this is the first rip with the new fuel pressure regulator already it feels better feels like it's running better so let's see a little better not perfect We are so excited to tell you that it didn't work. So I'm not sure what's happening. It actually is running better, uh, but it's it's it acts like it's got 120 tail gears in it or something. It just takes forever to rev up, and it just it's got nothing from the bottom end, which doesn't make sense. All right, guys, so we have a kind of a weird theory. Uh, we're wondering if it's actually taking off in second or even third gear. Um, it just doesn't seem like, it doesn't have the pep off the go. And when you're driving it, um, it doesn't feel like it actually upshifts until like half a mile away. So, beats out perusing, making the tires round again. Um, anyway, we'll hear something as he goes by. next option is we need to try and see is there something that's done wrong in the computer in the flash so I have a separate computer we're gonna get that one flashed we're gonna swap out computers see if it cures it if it doesn't then at least I have another computer for the next project and I didn't throw my money away anyway a little disappointed it did fix it a little bit but it didn't do what we wanted it to do but we are thankful that you guys came by and checked out this very frustrating project we're messing with Hopefully you guys come back next week and check out what we're doing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. And share the link. And as always, thanks, thanks for watching. And as always, thanks, thanks for watching. You know we're never on cue. <laughs>